Before we pray, let's take a moment to reflect on God's Word and His boundless love. The love of God is a gift so profound that it surpasses anything we could ever earn or imagine. Out of His infinite compassion, He sent His only Son into this world, not because we deserved it, but simply because He loves us. Jesus came to offer us life, life that is redeemed, full, and eternal. This love doesn't depend on our efforts or goodness. It flows freely from the heart of God, unchanging and unconditional. Jesus bore the weight of our sins, offering himself as the perfect sacrifice, so we could be free from guilt and shame. If God loves us so deeply, then we too are called to reflect that love, showing patience, forgiveness, and kindness to others, just as he has shown us. His love is not fleeting or conditional. It is constant and pure, reaching deeper than we can comprehend. John 3.16 reminds us of this truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Take a moment to let the depth of this love sink into your heart. God's love is not distant. It is near. It protects provides and forgives, even when we stumble, even when we feel unworthy. Though we may be inconsistent, changing with the winds of life, God remains steadfast. His love is unwavering, a solid foundation we can always trust. Let us give thanks for this unshakable love and draw near to Him in humility and gratitude. Now let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, You are the King of my heart, the one who knows me more deeply than I could ever understand. You see into the depths of my being, my thoughts, my fears, my longings, and my hopes. You know my struggles and my strengths. Yet, despite my imperfections, you call me by name and invite me to come close to you. You are not just my saviour, you are my constant companion, my shelter, and my ever-present help. Out of your boundless, selfless love, you descended from the glory of heaven to walk among us, to heal, restore, and save. You became human, facing the same temptations and suffering that we endure, all to show us that you understand our pain. You endured unimaginable pain on the cross, a pain beyond what we could ever fathom, so that I could be cleansed, forgiven, and redeemed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a love so vast and perfect a love beyond human comprehension, a love that would not let me go even when I was lost. Your love is not a passing feeling, it is eternal, it is unconditional, and it is unchanging. It is the steady, unwavering force that holds me through every season of my life. Lord, how could I ever repay such love? You gave everything for me. You laid down your life, even when I had nothing to offer in return. You saw my brokenness and offered me grace. You saw my mistakes and extended forgiveness. Even when I was lost in my own sin and rebellion, you reached out to me with open arms. You loved me with a love so pure, so fierce and so sacrificial that I can only stand in awe. Your word reminds me that before I was even formed in the womb, you knew me. Before I ever took a breath, you set me apart for your purposes. You have loved me from the very beginning, long before I ever understood the depths of your love. Thank you, Lord, for knowing me so intimately, for loving me so completely, and for calling me your own. When I feel unworthy, when my mind tells me that I am not enough, you gently remind me that your love does not depend on my performance. Your love is not based on what I can do, but on who you are. Your love is what gives me strength when I am weak, hope when I feel hopeless, and courage when I am afraid. It is your love that lifts me up, even when I am stumbling. In your love, I find my confidence, my peace, and my worth. As Romans 8 verse 38 to 39 reminds me, nothing can separate me from your love. No circumstance, no fear, no failure, and no hardship can ever take me away from your embrace. Not even death itself can break the bond that you have established with me. In moments of doubt, I cling to this truth. 
Your love is my fortress. It is the place where I find safety, rest and strength. No matter what I face, your love holds me together. Lord Jesus, fill my heart, my home, and every part of my life with your presence. Let your peace reign in my heart, your love surround my family, and your joy overflow in our home. May my life be a reflection of your goodness, and may your presence be felt in every step I take. Teach me to focus on your goodness, to find gratitude in all circumstances, and to trust in your promises, knowing that you are faithful in all things. Help me, Lord, to release my worries to you, to surrender my fears, anxieties, and burdens into your capable hands. I trust that you will provide for every need. Your word promises that you are our provider, and I know that you will not leave me wanting. Even when I feel unsure of how things will work out, I will trust in your perfect plan, knowing that you are always with me. Lord, I lift your name on high, for you alone are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the one who holds the world in your hands, yet you care for each of us individually. You are the Lamb who was slain, yet you are the conquering King who reigns forever. In every circumstance I will praise you. In every season I will give thanks to you. Thank you for hearing my prayers, for drawing near to me when I am weak, and for surrounding me with your unfailing love. You are always faithful, always present, and always good. Your love is the foundation of my life, and in you I find my hope, my peace, and my joy. Lord, help me to live as a reflection of your love. May my words bring peace, my actions show kindness, and my heart overflow with gratitude. Let my life point others to the beauty of who you are. In every moment, let me remember that your love is the reason I am here, the reason I am saved, and the reason I am never alone. In Jesus' precious name I pray, Amen. If this prayer has touched your heart, please type Amen as a sign of faith. May God's peace and blessings rest upon you today and always. And if you need special prayer, let us know in the comments. We are honored to pray for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always.